Welcome to the Profile Series. I'm your host, Linda Sandu. I'm here with my friend, Melissa Chartrand. She's the Arts and Culture Coordinator for the Town of Barnstable. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me today. We miss you whenever you're uh, not no. here. You always have so much information. And um, first off, talk a little bit about your new position, because we haven't even talked about that. Sure. Well, I'm pleased to say that it's now a full-time position with the Town of Barnstable. I'm Arts and Culture Coordinator. Always have been, but it was a part-time position, grant-funded. And I'm thrilled to say that the town, you and I have talked about this, that they understand yes. the power of the arts, the economic benefits, the social benefits, and they did create, as of July, a full-time position. That's wonderful. And it you're really the is. perfect, perfect fit for well, that. Well, thank so you so, so much. <laughs> thank you so much. And there's certainly plenty to do. Yes. And with the position originally, and it was, again, grant-funded, it really focused on downtown Hyannis mm -hmm. and the high arts area. And we'll, we have plenty to talk about that. But what I'm also excited about with this full-time position now is really needing to gather all seven villages, right. promoting and supporting the arts in all seven villages. And so. that, I think, is so wonderful. Yes. And, and that's when you, when you talk to people, and I'm sure you did all the surveying and all that stuff, but that's something that people always felt was missing. Like, uh, Hyannis got it, they got the arts, they right. got it, they got it, they got it. And all these little villages would say, but we're doing this and we're doing exactly. that. And now you can help support, support that. that. Not that I never did before. I Absolutely. always work to promote and collaborations between the villages, I think, is important right. as well. And so we've always Absolutely. tried to bring them in. But it, but it's just nice that there's officially more time yes. dedicated to that I job. think it's great. And you're the perfect person. Thank so you. what do you have going on? I know oh my the goodness. fall is crazy. Crazy. It really is crazy, and as you said, in all seven villages, so much is happening. I do. I'll start first with the high anis the high arts artist shanties. Perfect. Of course, I love them. I always say that's my summertime office down by the harbor front. That's a, you're a lucky girl. <laughs> I am. It is so beautiful there. And the shanties are there through September. They're there every single day. The time is shortened 11 to 5 rather than 11 to 8 and beyond. But uh -huh. certainly they're all local artists. We've had, when all is said and done with the season, we'll have well over 55 that is artists amazing. there. That is amazing. It really is, too. And that's really the key to the program yeah. is in Introducing these artists, many I'd say over half are new to the program this year. That's wonderful. And it is. It teaches them. It first of all about exposure and marketing and just meeting people from around the area and around the world. It really yes. gives them an opportunity and the artist to artist collaboration. That's something that we also talk about mm -hmm. fostering those relationships among the artist community. I think that's great. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy yeah. there are so many. There are, and we had literary arts this year, Linda, which is the oh. first time that I have. You know, when you think. Arts. I think people tend to think visual. Well, it's not sure. just limited to visual. Right. There, of course, is music and writing and and theater. And so we had a little bit of everything down at the shanties. And we have in September, the last weekend, the Barnstable Village Libraries. So again, oh. talking about including all of the villages, I am thrilled that we will have the libraries there. Uh -huh. There's so much that goes on in the village libraries. They in the, themselves are these cultural gems. They aren't absolutely, they? absolutely. So they'll be there sharing their programs, some local authors, some projects every day. Um, mm -hmm. And again, the shanties are there every day in September, 11 to 5, and you can get all the information on our website at High Arts District, H-Y, highartsdistrict.com. Perfect. So, um, and, and yes, so from the shanties, we've had some concerts as well. Now, of course, in the fall time, we don't have as many concerts at Azelton Park. But again, speaking of the shanties, in September, every Saturday in September from 2 to 3 is September Sounds at the Shanties oh, with wow. Jazz. Nice. So I am so excited for this. Last year we had the Air Force, U.S. Air Force Jazz Ensemble. Wonderful. And it prompted the idea. It was such a welcome addition to a beautiful September afternoon to come with beach chairs and blankets and just sit down by the Shanties. It's a little more intimate venue. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And just enjoy the music and of course meet the artists and enjoy the working waterfront. The restaurants are still open. You're steps away from Main Street Hyannis where there's local shops, restaurants, museums. I mean, we have it all That's right wonderful. there. That's wonderful. Yeah, so I am thrilled. And again, all that information is on the website. But four different local jazz groups. Bart Wiseman is playing. Robuchet is playing. Um, MJ in the in crowd. And the Bob Hayes band. Oh, so, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. So, great idea. Yeah. So I think that that will be a nice welcome addition for some music. Because I sure. think that's what happens, too. I'm sure you know this, is that we're here. Our locals are here mm -hmm. uh, year-round. Yes. And there is something to do year-round. I know that it amps up in the summertime. Absolutely. But this is a way of, of winding down 
down from that season That's and giving right. something back to, yeah. to Well, enjoy. and some of us locals kind of hide away. Let they the, sure let, do. <laughs> we let the visitors enjoy right. the summer, and then we start coming out in September. Exactly. So that's my treat to them. Oh, and, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also we've had this summer, we had, it was a new event this year called the Love Local Fest. And it's by a group of 330 hip hipsters I call them they really are delight they have a site called love live local .com. Mm -hmm. and I think again not only for visitors but for our locals they really have the pulse on um, what's all things happening Cape wide so I have to say that it's a wonderful resource to check their website oh, they great. they they just feature all the local um, places in the know to go and see and do and with an arts focus to it as uh -huh. well which is really nice oh, like to support that. all the local entrepreneurs and all the local artists of, of every discipline. Oh, that's so nice. So they had um, uh, an idea of this ocean air market type event at Azelton Park, which overlooks Hyannis Harbor, mm -hmm. and just a really cool vibe to it, all things local, music, arts, food trucks, a little bit of everything, kids activities, family activities, certainly a lot of free, and then obviously with the vendors, if you want to purchase things, you sure. can purchase all locally based. Oh, I like that a um, lot. Yes. And when is that happening? So that the last one of those festivals is happening the end of this month. It's the last Sunday. It's September 29th okay. at Azelton Park. The shanties are still open. How Steps great. away then is Azelton Park with this festival. There'll be music there up on the Village Green as you head up towards Main Street. There'll be music there in the morning. Oh, wow. And you can really come and spend the whole day. Wonderful. Oh, yes. that sounds like a great day. Yes. And so leading from that is also a scavenger hunt on that day and this is in conjunction with the town of Yarmouth so mm -hmm. I love that I always say the arts know no town lines. Absolutely <laughs> so, and I like that. <laughs> and I always promote everything and so this is an exciting collaboration with the town of Yarmouth with their cultural program and the cultural center of Cape Cod so mm -hmm. I've been working closely with Lauren oh, Walk good. who's yes. the associate director there we do mm -hmm. a lot lo love the cross collaboration there mm -hmm. um, to promote this scavenger hunt now it's it's not a race it is an all-day affair to really find uh, it's uh, it's um, both towns. It mm -hmm. will involve both towns, and it's it's uh, it's an event for families, individuals, letter boxers, which are those people that love to find those clues. Sure. And you have all day. You get a guidebook that tells you uh, easy clues, and then there are challenge clues throughout mm -hmm. downtown Hyannis and then in Yarmouth. Oh, and, I like um, that. Yeah, it's an all-day affair that will bring you through. So that people that want to partake in this scavenger hunt can take in Main Street Hyannis, they can take in the Love Local Fest, oh, they can visit great. the shanties and enjoy all the hidden gems, a couple of different museums in Hyannis, and then they make their way to Yarmouth. Uh -huh. So there is all of that information, I know because I have so much information to <laughs> share that I could just spend the entire show on this treasures of Hyannis and Yarmouth. That's so great. But you can get the information on the cultural district, the cultural center website, okay. and then also the high arts uh, website. But Perfect. it's just a fun-filled activity. We're, we're not going to have rain, but even if it's drizzly, you know, there's no rain date, the yeah. event will take place. And I think that's important to note, Linda, is that I find that people you don't melt when it rains. No, they and don't. You don't. And there is so much to do. Mm -hmm. um, Indoors rain or, and outdoors. Exactly. Yep. And year round as yes, we said. So. Absolutely. Well, do you find that, I mean, with this new position and, and you were doing it last year, do you find that the, the Cape is active year-round these days? Oh my it's goodness, not, it sure is. I mean, we're jammed June and July, but the Cape is in August, I should say, but but the Cape is, we're going all the time. We are going. There is so much wonderful uh, theater mm -hmm. and opportunities for music yes. and visual art and hands-on arts, you know, and, and sculptural. I mean, any type of art form, you will find it. Any type of theater, any type of performance art, it is here, it is alive, it is well. And what website is the best one for people to go to for all that? Is it yours? Is it I would say there's a combination and there's so much out there, but it's the High Arts District, hopefully Hopefully you can find some links to some of the other sites Good. as well. Yeah. Um, the Arts Foundation of Cape Cod, of course, uh -huh. is the regional 
uh, organization to promote and support the arts. That's we great. do a lot of collaboration with, again, one of our villages, Katuit, uh -huh. and there's Katuit Center for the Arts, and yeah, they fabulous. do a phenomenal job That's with great. every type of, again, art form yes. there is right there in Katuit, and there's lovely other museums and historical societies in every one of our villages. Absolutely. So let's talk about some other things that's happening. Sure. Well, we have that's ongoing year-round as well in downtown Hyannis is the Kennedy Legacy Trail. It mm -hmm. launched last year. Which is fabulous. Yes. Everybody should do that. They should do it. It's a great attraction. We are working on some new trails to follow nice. as well. That So stay tuned. We'll come back <laughs> and do a show on those. Perfect. But the Kennedy Legacy Trail brings you, of course, whether you loved them or hate them, whatever your political affiliation, there is the fascination with the Kennedys. Absolutely. And this is a great way to visit and explore downtown Hyannis mm -hmm. and learn a little bit about the Kennedy family and their contribution. I mean, they really had a, such a significant impact on shaping Cape Cod and specifically Hyannis. Right. And so you learn a little bit about, uh, of course, President Kennedy, as well as many of his family members and their mm -hmm. contributions. They did such great things for mm -hmm. America. Uh, and what I love about it, Linda, is whether you have a smartphone or not. It's really designed. It's self-guided. You can do a few stops. You can come back and do some more. You can go online to see all the stops and watch videos. If you have a smartphone, you can use the QR code. Yeah. If you have not such a smartphone, you can <laughs> dial up and listen to a recording. Oh, how great. Yeah, and if you don't want to do anything at all, you can just read the sign. Yeah. And so there's information on the Kennedy Legacy Trail, again, on High Arts District that leads you through because the videos are great to watch. Because if you're out and about and traveling, you might just want to read a little quick snippet, but then go later and uh, spend a little more right. time watching the videos. That's and I think Yes, so I think it's a great opportunity, again, to learn about them and explore and it's it's multi-generational you can you know from young kids right oh, on through yeah. it can really anybody can take as little or as much from it that they right, want. Right. Oh, that's wonderful. And yeah. like you said, it's not a political thing. It's, right. It's, it's Hyannis reality, really. Sure, sure. So that's great. Yeah. So what else is going on? Um, well, again, we have our shanties. We have speaking and walking. We have photo walks. In Barnstable Village, the Cape Cod Art Association is a wonderful opportunity to see local artists as well. And they constantly, again, are year round and have all sorts of exhibits and classes. And they have the Photography Center of Cape Cod. And they, it's wonderful as well that they take trips Cape wide. They'll take, they have different levels. You can use everything from your smartphone to one of a very fancy oh, wow. camera to explore with them the hidden harbors along the Cape, beautiful sites that you might not be aware of. They do sunset cruises right out of Hyannis and Barnstable Village. They do photo walks right in downtown Hyannis and Barnstable Village and beyond. So again, wow. those are something that we're pleased to promote and share. And Barnstable Village has a historical home walk because I mean, oh, nice. certainly yeah. so much culture and history there right in downtown. And people love that. They love being able to, at their leisure, learn about Absolutely. quirky little things about the buildings and, and things they're passing Oh, I by. think that's great. Yeah. I think those are my favorites, that's for sure. Yeah. So. so we have that as well. And um, really, um, I, I think I've, uh, we have back in Hyannis the High Arts Campus. Um, again, I'll tell our, your viewers that we are a cultural district, which is mm -hmm. so exciting. And we became the Hyannis High Arts Cultural District last May. And really, what does that mean? It means that we have such a strong concentration of all thing arts in mm -hmm. A very walkable compact area. Um, Main Street is home to over 40 restaurants um, so just eating just culturally tasting <laughs> you know a walk around the world there is someone that's doing food tours now oh, so wow. how awesome is that yeah. to go and um, taste a little bit of around the world that's a Eat your great way idea. Down Main Street, Hyannis. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? That's really nice. We have so many different museums there mm -hmm. and so on. And so, um, and the walk to the harbor and all the assets there. So we're this great cultural district. That's it. Well, I feel like we've caught up a little bit, or at yes. least gotten to October. Yes, <laughs> yes, we have. Where, where we're going to meet again, yes. and you can kick off all the fall, the rest of the fall, but more importantly, the holiday season, because I yes. know that's big with all the arts. 
in, in on the Cape? Everywhere and, on the yeah. Cape and in Hyannis, and yes, because we have the High Arts Campus, which has the Geyer Barn, it has Sarah Hall Art Space, it has Gallery Art Trio and Bass River Pottery, and that's a campus that's open year round. And as we get into the fall, a lot of classes, a lot of art, a lot of offerings, and so yes, plenty to yeah. talk about as we get into the fall. And just keep checking the website, because I gotta yes. tell you, you keep the website very current. We're trying to keep ours up with yours and we keep getting new stuff on the that's running on TV all the time so also reminding people to go to your website because that's where everything sure at. and I'll give a plug for our Facebook we please like us we are on Facebook at High Arts District perfect and so uh, like us and you get the, some quick updates that way as well and a lot of our we we interview a lot of local artists and artisans and those videos are available on the website as great well. great idea perfect Melissa so thank you so thank much. You Always so, so much. great to see you. Thank you so much, Linda. I'm Linda Sandu. We'll see you next time.